Hello, Peter Charleston here with another video, short video about my concept of psychological strength, unedited and from my office. Today, I would like to talk to you about how well you prioritise your daily tasks in particular. As I've been saying in previous videos, your psychology affects everything you do. Every daily task you perform, whether it's getting ready for work or college or cleaning the house or getting other tasks done, you use mental and emotional and behavioural habits to get that thing done. Now, whether you're effective or not depends on these habits. So the only problem is that some of your habits actually waste time and energy and they're not very effective. So that's what the concept of psychological strength is all about. Excuse me. So in order to reach your potential, your daily habits need to improve. So just small changes of habit can lead to big results. So for example, most people don't plan very well. They either don't plan at all or spend way too much time on it. So when you plan your week, think about what you typically do. Most people think they've got more time than they really do. So what happens is they set themselves way too many tasks, then get disappointed with themselves when they can't complete them at all, in the week or in the day even. So be realistic with yourself is number one in terms of prioritising. The all other key is how many tasks you set per day and how you prioritise those tasks. I set three main tasks per day, no more, and I've got into the habit of every day acknowledging to myself what I've achieved. And the three tasks I set are ones that are realistically achievable in that day. They must fit with the goals I've set for myself and they must, and you must prioritise tasks according to how much impact they have in terms of reaching your goals. So for most people, this means letting everything go that's not a big priority. So it might be something like a membership or subscription you don't use much, or an area of your business you're not really passionate about. Why do too much? Why take too much on? You also need to get away from the habit of doing what's easy and comfortable, and you need to focus on spending time on tasks that have the most impact. For example, for me in running a psychology business, contacting clients who've not booked an appointment lately is a really top priority, even though I might be anxious at calling or texting people out of the blue. Promoting the courses I run is also a priority. Less of a priority is things like getting the content of the courses right. Even though I love it, I love editing slides and getting the workbooks done, I can end up spending way too much time on the content without promoting the course. And if no one registers for the course, what's the point having great quality content if no one is watching it or reading it? So I need to juggle the demands of quality content with needing people to register for the course to actually view it. And I need to be honest with myself about how much time I spend on each. And I move from one task to the other when the first is good enough. So if I've got good enough content, I'll go to promotion, etc. So by being more conscious of how you spend your time, you become more effective at getting the right things done every day. And every day you do this contributes to your self-worth and it builds your psychological strength because the three tasks you set maximum per day are achievable and every day you end the day thinking, yeah, I've accomplished something. I hope this short video gives you some ideas in terms of improving your habits. And if you're interested, please look at the courses I have on offer to do with psychological strength. That's at mental-strength.com. And you'll hear from me again. Hopefully you'll be able to tune in. Please subscribe to my videos as well. There'll be more to come. Thanks. Thank you.